placing a food ban at just one club during your career might be considered moderate, but when you go on to do so at two different clubs, that's a mystery. The mysterious man here is none other than the popular Italian coach Antonio Conte. While he was head coach at Chelsea, the Italian made the very controversial decision of mandating his players steer clear of one of the world's most famous condiments. Italians and their strange aversion for condiments, you'd say? While many did argue that the decision was uncalled for and wouldn't have any serious impact on the team, these condemnations turned into praise after Conte led the team to a league double in his very first season in charge. Many around the club now agreed that Conte might indeed and do something much bigger, and his famous ban on tomato ketchup became indisputable. He'd leave Chelsea and the Premier League after the following season, only to return to take the Spurs job in November 2021 after the sacking of Nuno Espirito Santo. Only a few days into his new role, Conte would strictly instruct the Tottenham canteen not to serve tomato ketchup to any of the team's players, effectively banning the content for the second time in his career. Like at Chelsea, the club's owners, staff and fans had no complaints, especially after he greatly turned things around at the club. The Italian genius would guide the team to a fourth place finish and Champions League qualification after he had taken over while the club was languishing in ninth place and all hope had been lost under the former coach. While some managers worried about the eating habits of their players, others' only concern was what they were drinking. Di Cagno was widely known for his eccentric nature. He'd previously banned mobile phones in the dressing room before games at Sunderland and singing in the lead-up two games. To Di Cagno, they're both irrelevant distractions to the team. The Italian maestro didn't surprise anybody much further when he announced the next item he was banning for his team. Not the biggest fan of the beverage itself, he'd even go as far as claiming that this item could cause chemical problems to the liver and stomach, and even result in indigestion. Di Cagno found the combination of ice and coke to be of special concern, so he outrightly banned his players from ever having it. While the rest of the world might think that putting ice in coke only helps dilute the flavor, Di Cagno sure has other theories for this rather popular act. While Di Cagno only enforced this ban at club level, this other Italian manager did the unthinkable while he coached this top European side. This other Italian, despite being widely loved by his players and fans, would similarly be very mindful of his players' diets. Giovanni Trapattoni is highly reputed for being one of the most successful club coaches to ever come out of the Serie A, and even his strongest opponents have confessed to the tactical genius of the Italian. But like some of his Italian compatriots, he likes to have things his way. Irish national Trapattoni is indisputably one of the greatest coaches to ever grace the game, but that's sadly not what they remember him for the most. As manager of the Republic of Ireland international team, Trapattoni paid great attention to making sure that his players were in peak shape and constantly delivered their best performances on the field. And after a while, it had appeared that the brilliant coach was taking his drive for excellence a bit too far. This was after he outrightly banned mushrooms for his players on match days, both for breakfast and dinner, after seeing a few starters eating the vegetable before a friendly game. When news of this broke, the whole country literally went nuts. Mushrooms are a favorite for the Irish. It would appear that this next coach took inspiration from Trapattoni when he similarly proceeded to ban yet another national favorite for his players, but this time in neighboring England. While Ramos might not come off as a top coach in modern football, the Spanish ex-international has an impressive CV and has coached a number of the world's top football clubs, including Real Madrid. When he joined Tottenham in 2007, it was obvious from the onset that it was going to be a brief spell, but the Spaniard wouldn't make his time at the White Hart Lane any easier. Deciding that his squad was very unfit and attributing this to their excessive consumption of sauce, he immediately waged war against everything one of them. He particularly banned McDonald's for his players and went to extreme lengths to ensure no one ever broke the rule. But the Tottenham players had a trick up their sleeves as well, and after every training session, the training ground security guard would sneak out and get their McDonald's behind Ramos's back. 
while some bans on fast food did not work. Banning popular Italian delicacies might be a secret recipe for trophies. Pep Guardiola needs no introduction. Following similar trophy-laden seasons at Barcelona and Bayern Munich, the Spaniard maestro would come to the Premier League to disprove anyone still having doubts about his capabilities as a world-class coach. But this feat wouldn't be possible without his players having to pay a heavy price. In his very first season in charge, the city manager would do the unthinkable. Guardiola knew too well from his experience as both a successful player and a coach that a diet heavy with fattening foods would greatly limit the on-field performances of his team. So without wasting any time, he immediately banned any of his players from ever eating one delicious and super popular Italian delicacy, pizza. His decision came across as a very bold move to everyone at City, but the Spaniard was no stranger to being bold.